Welcome to Danielle's Desk. Today we are going back into my Happy Planner Faith Planner for 2022. I am so excited. Um, I've received a really good response from um, viewers that are wanting more uh, faith planning. And so uh, my hopes is to give you uh, some faith planning every single month, if not more than that, every single month. I'm so glad that um, most of you are very receptive and would like to see more of my planning, my thought process, what um, current Bible studies I'm using, how I'm utilizing my planner, that type of thing. So um, I am super excited to be giving you more of this. If you wanted to see sort of like my lineup and all of that, I will make sure to have that video linked below. Um, I was totally obsessed with the uh, faith planning line that came out in the fall release. And so um, I have not officially started this yet, even though we are approaching the third week in January. I am still in my other journal. I plan on starting uh, to use this this week. Um, I can't tell you why I haven't made the transition yet. I don't know. I just, um, I think it's because I hadn't had this one on the side of my bed. It was still in my office and the other one was still there and it is undated, but I'm officially stopping that one and we'll start this one on this week. So it is gorgeous. It is from, like I said, the fall release. Um, I'm obsessed with the cover. I changed to gold metal disc. And so this is what we are going to be using for um moving forward for 2022 and so i'm gonna go ahead and flip through to this week um so i'm missing two weeks i might go back and just back plan not necessarily um do something like as far as writing is concerned but maybe just um just decorate it just for fun whenever i have a moment just sitting down and i feel like you know decorating i may go back and just decorate that and then i also need to decorate my monthly so if you are not subscribed or not following me i'm sorry on instagram um, i have all that information linked below um, definitely follow me over there i um, post a lot of different spreads over there so let's get started i'm going to pull out my bookmark and also my little note sheet so we can get started before I actually um, get going, I do want to go over a few things. I'm going to move this for just a minute um, because I did have some requests uh, to share uh, my Bible study. So before we get to decorating, I want to go over that. So this is what, well, let me start off with telling you what I did last year. So I read the Bible, the entire Bible from front to finish, uh, from front to start in 365 days, actually a little less than that. I'm so proud of myself. I've never uh, read the Bible from start to finish. I've read every single book in the Bible, um, you know, sometime in my lifetime, but have never read it from start to finish. And so this is the podcast or book that I followed. It's called The Bible Recap. I definitely recommend it. I talked about it over on Instagram. It is by Tara Lee Cobble and her group. It is astounding. I cannot tell you. The commentary that goes along with your scripture is outstanding. Um, it is a one-year guide. You don't necessarily have to get this book in order to follow along. The podcast is totally free. You just find it on whatever podcast app that you use. And it lasts anywhere between like five to maybe seven or up to 10 minutes, depending on it. And I would do it like in my car or when I'm getting ready or things like that. And this is in addition to reading the actual chapters or scripture. So I love it. This is the book. I did purchase the book as well. I did do some highlighting in here, but as you can see, the podcast is just following along with the book. But if you're a type of person like me and I like to actually highlight, as you can see, and maybe write notes or things like that, that's why I went ahead and purchased the book. But as you can see, it breaks it up into chapters. So let's for day three, we were to read uh, Genesis 8 through 11. And then she gives you what you call a God shot. And it's just something to think about for that day. Um, maybe you want to incorporate in that day or days to come and that type of thing. So I enjoyed it. I recommend it. Um, like I said, it's called the Bible recap, but I wanted to get on here and show that to you. And you could actually, and I'll show you that in a minute. 
when I when we start playing in the planner is that you could take this information and then use the soap method and I will show you how to do that in just a minute but you can take a screenshot I will have it all linked below I got mine off of Amazon but like I said you do not have to have the book you can just download the podcast and I will have that linked down below as well so for this year, um, because I enjoy Tara Lee Cobble, I, she came out with a seven session Bible study called He's Where the Joy Is. So if um, the name, oh gosh, I just love the title because every time she finishes a podcast or a reading in the book, she always says he's where the joy is. And so that is so near and dear to my heart because I've been hearing her say he's where the joy is almost every day last year. And so when I saw that she came out with a new book, I had to get on, I had to get on it. And this is what I am going to be starting off January with. So it is meant to be done in a group. Now, I'm not doing it in a group. The Bible recap was done by my women's ministry at my church, but this can definitely be done independently, and that's what I am going to be doing. Uh, this is her picture, in case you're interested in kind of a little bio, but um, she gives a few notes about this study. So each week you're giving like teacher points or teaching points and then questions and then this is really um scripture um driven in which i love so i'm a huge nerd i am into looking up hebrew and greek i use blueletter.org if that's what you're interested in if you are interested in that as well and so um it is really scripture driven and like i said i am all about that life and so um what I do like about this is, is like, okay, so this is your first session um, and this is like your launch meeting. So if you were doing it as a group, this is your launch meeting. And then these are questions that you would talk about. Now, there is a um, sort of like a, a teaching session that you can follow along um, if you are um, doing it as a group and you can actually buy or rent it from Lifeway. And it has that information here at the bottom if you want to take a screenshot of that. So um, because I'm doing it independently alone, I am not going to need the video or anything like that. I'm just going to be following through the questions and then looking up scripture. And that's how I'm going to be doing my soap method. And so what she does is um, she gives you um, like the week ahead. And that's what I like. So she breaks it down for you. So it's really easy to follow. So you have your daily Bible reading and podcast. And that's broken down every day where you can go and check that off. You have your scripture memory, which she gives it here, and then where you recite it and whatever you need to do to memorize scripture. Then there's a challenge. There's a prayer walk, and this is I was this is very new to me. So it's just choose a day this week to prayer walk. We've provided some guidelines to help you structure this time with God. So I am really super excited to be doing this prayer walk. And then there's the group meeting, which I won't it won't apply to me, but this is super great. This is how your day one and day two look. As you can see is not a lot of questions it won't take you that long unless you're like me and you're a nerd and you just want to dive in you know and get as much as you can out of that day or out of that scripture but I thought that I would share both of these and I'll put the other one back in frame for you so if you're interested in doing the Bible in a year even though you're starting right now start right now it doesn't matter if you didn't start on January 1st you know, it was such a blessing for me to um, read the Bible from start to finish. And I was so fulfilled and the Lord showed me so much. I mean, it was just, I'm getting chill bumps right now, but the Bible recap is one that you can start. And then if you are not quite ready for this one, you can do He's Where the Joy Is. You don't have to do this one and then do this one. It's not meant for that. So this is what I'm going to be starting. And you will hear me mention this every month um, as I talk about this when we're doing the soap method. Uh, because my next video that I'm going to be doing, um, I'm going to walk you through. And I've done this before, but I'm going to walk you through how I'm going to do the soap method for this particular book so that's out of the way the next thing that I wanted to show you before we actually start planning is is that I did purchase another Bible so if you follow me again on Instagram um, I showed this in a haul uh, on my stories and so the Bible there was 
there wasn't anything wrong with my Bible other than it's falling apart, which is always good. I've been having it for a very long time. And so I wanted a new Bible. And so I received a gift card for my daughter to Barnes and, no Barnes and Nobles. And so um, I went on the hunt. I went in person. Um, I love New American Standard Bible. That is just my preference before my second um, preference is NIV. So it is up to you. If you're on the search for finding a Bible, do your research um, and see, um, you know, what versions that would work for you that you can understand. I prefer an NASB study Bible because like I said, I am a nerd. And so I like to sort of dive into certain things. And so I prefer to read and work out of a study Bible. So this one is the MacArthur. The one before I had was Zondervan, which was totally fine. I actually got it out of book, out, book outlet for a very, very good price. Um, this one was 80 bucks, I believe, which Bibles are expensive. I'm not going to lie. They're expensive. I've already got my name script in there. Um, that is from Alicia Michelle. I just bought a whole bunch of them this year. And then I tabbed it all up. I actually um, laid in my bed last night and just tabbed them all up. Um, these are from Amazon. I can have the Bible and I can have the tabs linked below for you. Um, before I've had like some colorful tabs and so I thought that that green would look really good on the brown. So I love this so much and I'll just kind of give you a peek of um, how it looks. Um, it always gives you a sort of, most study Bibles do though, um, give you kind of a synopsis of who the author is, when it was written, the background, who the audience is, any historical data or anything like that. And then it gives you an outline. And so here, if I flip the page, we'll actually start the first chapter. And as you can see, this scripture is actually smaller or about the same as what your study notes are. And that's what I love. Actually, I prefer my scripture to be like this and then my study notes to take more than half the page because like I said, I'm a nerd like that. But um, this is how it looks. It gives you a little bit of commentary, but it also gives you more uh, information. And that's what I appreciate. Sometimes it takes you to another scripture, another chapter, another book of the Bible. It just depends. And so the only bad side for me in starting a new Bible is that all my notes are in the other Bible. And so I don't transfer notes. Um, I feel like that the Lord has given me everything that he needs while I was give, while I was using that Bible. And so he's going to give me fresh new things in this Bible. And so I'll start, you know, brand new notes. And so if I need to reference something or maybe I needed some notes, notes, uh, you know, from the other Bible, it's always around. Actually, I have it downstairs with me just in case I need to reference it. So, um, I also added a, um, pin loop. And so this was actually something I already had in my stash that I used, uh, in my A5. And so it's a clip and then the little pin loop is here. I got this off Amazon. I will have this linked below. I always like to have a pin specifically a stick pen is what I use in my Bible because it doesn't bleed. Um, and so I have tons of these big, I mean, these are like what 99 cent pens, like literally you could get a whole pack for like two bucks or something. I have them in all different colors. And so um, I have this here. And so I could easily mark and reference things as I would like them. So I thought that I would show you a Bible just in case if you were in the market or wanting to purchase a new Bible. So with all that said, and we're almost 15 minutes in, <laughs> let's get started on how we're going to set it up. So I'm going to flip back to um, the week of the 10th. And um, like I said, I'll have the video, I'll have another video linked below because I did do uh, explaining the soap method for you. And so um, if you are not quite understanding or interested in getting this, but have no idea what the soap method is, I'll have a video linked below for you that explains it all. But in this video, we're going to decorate this spread. So I purchased the Marble Faith. I didn't purchase it um as soon as it came out because it was sold out pretty quickly and I'm obsessed with everything that is in this whole collection and so um, I went to Hobby Lobby and I found um, the the um, sticker book which granted I didn't get a discount because 
you know, they're not doing their whole, you know, what is it? 40%? I forgot. <laughs> they're not doing that anymore. So, but that's okay. Um, so we're going to use the Marble Faith. It is beautiful. Um, and we are going to decorate it. And so I'm just flipping through because you know what? I have not really flip through. I really haven't. I mean, I knew that I was obsessed with it, but I am um, probably looking for, I was looking at this one earlier, the scripture of the week, which would really tie in with uh, Tara Lee Cobble's scripture for the week. So I'm thinking about using that one and it comes in all the colors. Um, and then I wanted a full box as well, like one of these larger boxes to go in there too. So I think that I am going to be using the blue, that pink and blue instead of the green. I pulled some washi too that I'll show you in a minute, but I think that I'm going to use this one right here. So we're going to pull this one and I'm going to see how much room I have down here at the bottom. Oh yeah. I have more than enough room. So let's pull this one and then we'll also pull, um, I'm gonna pull this one right here, this is beautiful. I mean, this whole collection is just beautiful. I mean, so beautiful. So I think that I may have to use white out. Let's see what I got. I'm gonna use some white out and I am going to white out the focus on. So, cause I don't, I don't need any of that. We're not focusing. I mean, we are focusing, but um, I'm okay with leaving the whole lines. So let me zoom you in just a little bit so you can see it a little bit better. My white out hasn't been doing so well lately. So I really need to buy some, some more, but I keep forgetting when I go to the store to buy some. Okay. I want to put a piece of washi tape. I may go over that piece a little bit um, in between here. So I pulled some, I, this is the blue that I pulled just in case um, I use the blue. This is from Simply Gilded. This is the green because I also had green, but I chose to use the pink. So I'm going to pull in this. This is from Office Odds and Ends. I will have her linked below as well. Um, she just recently came out with this uh, washi tape and it is stocked in her shop. Um, if you are interested, I will have that linked below also with a code that you can use to uh, save some money. So. I'm trying to think if I want to use the thicker one. How long is this? I need to be careful. Oh crap. I didn't go, I didn't go up far enough. Let's see. Okay, so I didn't go up far enough. So we are going to need to uproot this one. And then I tore it. Well, this is starting out just great, isn't it? No, it's fine. Okay, and we're gonna bring this one all the way up to the very top where it has the January. So we're gonna do that. And that will give me room to put the washi tape, hopefully. So I'm gonna think I'm gonna use the thinner one. Let's see. Let's see. I want to see how much room I got. So I don't have any room. Okay, so we're not going to put washi tape in between there because I don't have like enough room. And we're just going to lay or lie this down here and it's a perfect fit. And that's fine. We can decorate elsewhere. So, okay. So that's fine. So let's see what else we can put. I wanted to add some washi tape. I think I may add it right here down at the bottom. So I'm gonna use this pink one. And we're gonna add this down here at the bottom because I'm, I'm just, I can't help myself. And <laughs> I've gotta use washi tape. It's just, it's just what it is. I've got to use washi tape. 
All right, so we're gonna cut this here. Uh, comment down below if you are using this planner or one like it, um, or you're going to get it, or tell me your thoughts, I'm just very curious. Um, are you faith planning at all? Are you starting new Bible studies? Um, I'm just very curious to see or to know, I'm sorry, what you're doing. And if you don't mind sharing any Bible studies that you're doing, um, I love to hear because, you know, this one is only a seven session, which means it's seven weeks. And so I am going to be on the lookout for what I'm going to be doing after this. So yeah, if you want to share by all means, please do that. All right, so we got that and we don't have a lot of space and I don't want to like, I need to be careful, let me say that because this space is for writing. That's what it's for. And so I want to, I want to use some of these like in every space. But So what we're gonna do is, let me get my tweezers. I want to put this in this little space at the top that says prayer. Gosh, these are beautiful. I'm going to have to get another book. I'm going to have to put it like on my to do, like any, whenever I go to, um, how many do I have? Um, I go to Hobby Lobby to grab another book. I have some other like faith planning type books that um, I've purchased like some older ones. You know, I have some, they're still, you know, usable in my collection, but I, um, I need to grab some more. I need to grab at least one more of this so I can have a backup in my stash. So I'm trying to put this on straight. Let's see, let me just do it with my finger. I think it's just like the gold that just makes it just stunning. I mean, when you pair pinks and golds with me, like you've pretty much won me over. But like I've said before, I think that this collection, this is in my opinion, is the best faith collection that they've come out with thus far. That's just my opinion on it. Um, the one that I'm currently using or have stopped using um, is the one that is just the journaling. It has like the journal prompts. So it's not like this one. And this is what I prefer because I'm utilizing something else for my journaling. And so I wanted to, I used the soap method a while back. And so, and I really enjoyed it. And so I'm so glad that this collection had that. So I'm trying to see what else I want to add, if anything. Um, there may not be anything else that I want to add uh, to it, but I'm just thumbing through and seeing if there's anything that I wanted to add, maybe here or something but I don't see anything. Thought maybe I wanted to add, see if I add whatever it has to be, it has to be kind of like small. And I don't really see that. So I think that we are going to stop there because I don't want to, I need to be, let me zoom out a little bit. I need to be very careful on like where I put things. Now, as I write, which I usually take up the entire space because you know, it's, it's very small. Um, I wonder if, I'm sorry, I gotta talk myself through this. I'm trying to see if I added some things that will completely cover and I don't wanna cover up my observation and stuff. Let's see. I think that I'm gonna add that. The thing is, is that I know this says observation. I mean, you know what I mean? Like, I know what it says. And then you can still kind of see through it a little bit. So, it's fine. 
I just felt like like something is missing. So kind of glad I decided to do this. This is just paper washi. Um, it's really easy to tear. You really don't need to use an X-Acto knife to do it or anything. And like I said, you get so many in there. Everything that I showed you in that little pack is everything that you get uh, when you order. And so, um, like I said, I will have her linked below along with a code. So here we are. This is the last one. All right, there we go. Yes, that looks a whole lot better. I like that. So one more thing, let me see if there is something that I can kind of put on the edges right here. So they have these little bobbles, but they're a they're slightly different color than they have this one. Which the other colors are that I could pull in like this dark pink. Let's see. I'm going to see how this looks. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Just have something like right there. And so this one has some hands and we're going to do it on the opposite end over here. And then we're going to do the same thing here, which we'll just do the exact same thing on the other side. So do that and then we'll do the hands again at the bottom on the opposite side. There we go. All right. It looks really good. I love the way it looks. It looks very simple. Um, I didn't overpower the spread with a lot of things because I want to, like I said, make room to write. So that looks good. Let's pop this back into the planner. Get my pages together. And pop this back in here. And another thing I wanted to add, the reason why I use the half sheet that I showed you, and I also got this at um, Hobby Lobby, is, is that if I don't have enough room in the space to write, then I will use this to write any additional notes, and then it stays in this section. So I have enough of these. I have some from last year, too, where I can just keep them in here and then, you know, just use a new one. Now, if I don't use this sheet, then it'll carry over into the next sheet. And so this bookmark came in a pack and I also got this from Hobby Lobby. I can't tell you what, what um, collection it's from, but if I can find it, I will have that linked below for you. So, so pretty. So we're going to put my strap, which I love the strap too. I keep a pin on it. So pretty. Oh, love it. So thank you so much for joining me here at Danielle's desk. If you enjoyed uh, going through what I'm going to be studying, at least for the, ne for the next seven weeks or so, give the video a thumbs up. Uh, if you would like to see more faith planning content, um, consider subscribing and I hope that you have a good day. Bye. Mm -hmm.